Hello, ladies and gentlemen. The time has come at last to talk about Wonder Woman, the latest film in the DCEU, directed by Patty Jenkins and starring Gal Gadot and Chris Pine. Gadot plays Diana, who is not yet known as Wonder Woman, who lives on the magical hidden island of Themyscira, which is populated entirely by the Amazons. And one day, their entire world is turned upside down when Steve Trevor, an American pilot played by Chris Pine, crashes into the nearby sea. And after getting a little sample of the world war that's going on and hearing about a new bioweapon developed by the mysterious Dr. Poison, Diana decides it is her duty to help bring an end to this war before more innocent lives are lost. So something amazing happened. We actually got a good DC movie. Finally. Oh, at last. They got one right. Thank you, Jesus. Or should that be Zeus? Thank you, Zeus. Thanks, whoever. Oh, man. Only took them four tries, but they finally got it right. But you know, when they get it right, they really get it right. This was awesome. It's entertaining. It's well-made. It's got good action. It's got a good sense of humor. And man, it is amazing just how tonally different this movie is compared to the rest of the DCEU. This movie actually knows how to have fun. A superhero movie that's fun. Imagine that. And it has color. Honest to God, color. About time they figured that out. No more of this crappy, washed out Zack Snyder color palette. No, no. Actual colors. Thank you. And they finally gave us a superhero that we can root for. Diana is amazing. She is, of course, strong and brave and can knee a motherfucker in the face and knock him into the next area code. And of course, those are qualities you want to see in a superhero. But what really struck me about this character was her idealism and her compassion. And above all else, that is her driving force. She sees a huge problem in the world that is killing millions of people, and without a moment's hesitation, she wants to help. Even when everyone around her is trying to hold her back, first it's the Amazons who don't want her to leave the island because apparently once you leave, you can never return. Bit of a cliche, but it's a superhero movie. What are you gonna do? And then there's Steve and his ragtag band of mercenaries that always show up in these sorts of movies. And they're traveling across Europe and they're seeing all of these atrocities. And Diana, of course, instinctively wants to help everyone. But Steve keeps trying to push her along, saying, no, 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 we got to stay on mission. We can't help everyone. And then they finally get to no man's land. And this is the point where Diana finally has had enough of Steve's fuckery and is like, nope, I'm helping everyone. Forget it. Diana, you can't save everyone. Bitch, watch me. And out into no man's land she goes. And it is glorious. And at no point is her idealism or her compassion portrayed as a weakness. Quite the opposite. They are very much her strengths. And there is a point where her idealism is bent, but it never breaks. Now, I've probably mentioned this before, but I was not really sold on Gadot when she was first cast as Wonder Woman and I wasn't really sold on her performance in Batman vs Superman. In this movie, she won me over. She and Jenkins did a great job bringing Diana to life, and they really get this character and what she is supposed to represent. Pine's role in the movie is basically the sidekick slash love interest for the fish out of water that is Diana in World War I Europe, and he plays this part very well. And then you have Connie Nielsen as Hippolyta, Robin Wright as Antiope, and all the rest of the Amazons. My God, I'm not in bad shape, but I'm pretty sure any one of these women could kick my ass any day of the week and twice on Sunday. And you know what? They look exactly like the Amazons should look. Props to the casting department. They did a great job there. Danny Huston plays one of the main villains, an evil German officer named Ludendorff, who speaks English for some reason. In fact, all of the Germans speak English. And it's not like there aren't people in this movie who speak other languages. They speak every language in this movie, pretty much, except German. Okay. But Huston was a decent villain. However, I found Elena Anaya far more compelling as Dr. Poison. She has a relatively simple costume. It's just like a 
Phantom of the Opera type mask, but that mask and the performance behind the mask say so much. This is a woman who has clearly been through some shit, and I hope we see a lot more of this character in the future. The action was pretty good overall, though honestly it could have been done a bit better. There are times when I think they overly relied on the slow motion, not really to the point where it gets annoying, but could have been toned back a little bit. And that silly physics-defying low kick that Diana does in the trailer doesn't look any better in the movie. And the climax at the end of the movie honestly didn't feel as strong as it should have. It's not that the big fight at the end was badly done, it wasn't, it was fine, but I just didn't find it anywhere near as compelling as the big action sequence in No Man's Land. But overall, it was still fantastic, and I enjoyed it very much, and this is the first DCEU movie that I can recommend without hesitation. If you have not seen it, do so. Well worth your time. And that's all I got to say about Wonder Woman, so till next time, take care.